Here's a view into my medicine cabinet. I thought I'd give you a little tour. Opening the doorway to God. So here I have my favorite essence maker. I like to use essences when I do my painting, infusing the energy into the art. So I have fairy and dolphin, angel, cut extra fairy there, white buffalo woman, a, a unicorn, dragon, whale, medicine Buddha. I have so many. I have a Gaia. I have um, just down here below. Got waters from Avebury, Avebury, the Tor, the Chalice Well, Lords France. All kinds of goodies here. Different essences, and different um, essences with my art on them as well. And then, um, like for instance, what's in here, Mother Pearl is holding is ground up lava stone that I collected up in um, the San Francisco Peaks area. So yeah, this is a little bit. And then back here, back here, what do we have? We've got some Orosoma essences and that Serapis Bay and Lady Nada and St. Germain and um, and I've got dandelion root from the Pitt River Indians. <laughs> and I've got sacred earth here from Old Man's Cave in Utah. Very sacred place. I have a special essence here made for the masculine, the feminine, and the child when I want to bring in the Trinity special for that. Um, as I'm not going to catch everything, I imagine, but just to give you a little bit of a peek into my medicine cabinet and into my studio. We've got kind of an array of just walk you through. Pearl, there's a medicine baby up there. Soul painting. There's our Kuan There's Archangel Gabriel, uh, a work in progress is to be intuition in my new deck. So that's still coming through. And this table, I, I do a lot of painting here. And I kind of turned my whole house into a studio. <laughs> There's Sekhmet, Goddess Sekhmet. There's the Tulf. And Pele, St. Jean of Arc, Grandmother Pele and Pele. I'll show you Grandmother Pele over here. So I painted Pele first. That was actually before I moved to the islands. And even the spirit of the white, the spirit of the black mamo came through. We'll get into the stories later. All right. But I'm just giving you a little tour. Here is Grandmother Pele. And there's a little Menahuni, white owl. Hope you can see this. It's a portal out of the jungle into the ocean. There's a, dread, a red dragon connected to some vision I had, powerful vision. And also connected to a lot has to do with the journey I did in Haleakala when I lived there. So there, you got a real full spectrum kind of of my art. Down here, I am about to do some gritting. And some, some of you have asked 
how I how I grid. And so I just started. Um, basically, I simply intuit, and every time is different. And I'll grid. So what I'm gonna do? I want to do here. Um, well, this is a crystal ball that I have. It uh, developed rainbows in it when I lived in Hawaii, and. It a few times had spoken to me very, very um, movie-like, <laughs> like I saw movies in here, especially when I was working on Merlin in Glastonbury, England. But this one and the little holder for it, this I, this I found on the land where I used to live in Malibu, where it's ancient Shumash tribal ceremonial land. Very sacred. That sits there. And then it's going to go right there that and then I'm going to create at this point like I said it changes I'm going to create a medicine wheel and this is forgive me I'm, I'm hoping that I can stay on focus so you can see what I'm doing And then some of those essences that I showed you, those definitely would go in at this point if I put any in. Although they also go on a blank canvas before there's anything there. Um, over here, I have a crystal wand. This used to be on a staff, but ever since 2003, it's, it's, become, it's become my my major, my major medicine, uh, rainbow blessing medicine tool. And it's got, I'll just show you a little bit more. It's got special stones in here too, including Moldavite. It's got a, it actually got a little Nefertiti that came from Egypt and um, high quality amethyst and garnet and um, a myriad of, a myriad of stones that align to the chakras, and then I make, uh, I've made these, I've made these here. This is a piece that is a crystal that I've, I've used with my medicine cards for many, many, many years, and then ended up not that long ago putting it on a piece of, um, a piece found in the redwoods. And so here is another one. This one too. This I call my unicorn horn. <laughs> but today they're just gonna be, I'm not sure. I think that that's what I'm gonna do. I might move them around a little bit, but I'm just giving you an idea. I have another wand here. This this I've made and I've built upon over the years. It's, um, it's my fairy wand. And I found this root in Mount Shasta up near the Stuart Hot Springs. So then we have aquamarine, we have amethyst, quartz, and salmon quartz, which is very much connected to the fairy for me. I have a experience with that. And then a hummingbird and some shells, it's various shells. and So that goes that's gonna go in here somewhere. I don't know where, I'm not gonna put it in right now because I'm, it's a little too difficult for me to try to hold the camera and, and do all this. So I just wanna show you another one that I have. Oh, while we're down here, I may as well show you the lion that I painted. Look at that, totally followed the lines. I love this babe. I love this, I sleep with it sometimes. I had a really crazy experience once when I was doing some healing work uh, with a former partner of mine and I took the Tibetan, an antique Tibetan medicine bowl and brought it and touched it to the spiral here and I noticed in the morning when I woke up, if it wasn't that night, this very fine pink powder sitting on top of where here is now. Oh, it's pretty magical. That's been many years ago though. Hmm, maybe like 17 years, maybe 15. I'm not real good with time anymore. 
But I also wanted to show you this. This is another one that I made. Um, this one is also, this is a piece that I found up near Mount Shasta as well. A di totally different time. This was the first that came about. And it had some pine cones already on it. And I was on my way to a Sundance and I found this piece and I began to build, build a, a wand into that. It's quite heavy. Um, but she's massive and beautiful and there's all kinds of things on there and then there used to be more I mean I've had this for 22 years and I mean at one point I had the head of a hawk on here that I had found um, but yeah so there you go I think that get oh and then I have a little bowl over here I have crystals all over the place and I'm sure I'm not covering all of them. Sometimes I even use uh, stones to grit it. This is an amazing um, one that I like to actually put my hands on. It's a, it's a fossil, a very, very, very ancient fossil. I like that too. But then this is a stone that I found actually near where I live now, here. And I like to work with these two together because they're both coming from sacred lands where I used to live. So, over here I've got some, I've got a, a carnelian heart that my ceremony sister gave and to me, um, a, a natural one, completely natural. I love when they're like this. Look at that, oh, it just feels so good to hold. Then I have a malachite one. This one too is natural, although this one, yeah. And, um, yeah, just a, uh, this one is a, an Ethiopian opal that I got in India, and the guy was really nice enough to uh, polish it for me. And I like to use it, I use it sometimes when I'm directing energy into a painting. Um, got a little carved dragon because I like to paint dragons, so we got this beautiful little cedar dragon, and I've got some rhodochrosite and some kunzite, and there you go. So I'm going to sign off for now and, and hope that that gives you an idea, right? I, um, I don't know if I can flip this. I don't think so. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to close off now and tune in for more, for more. I'm gonna get uh, some help with some camera work here, and then I can face you and talk this way too. So, so much love. I love you. Bye for now.